Hello and welcome to Crazy Talk Tutorials, exporting Flash format and embedding into web pages. Crazy Talk provides you with various means of exporting your project to multimedia files. You may export video as AVI, MP4, RM, WMV, or WAV, image sequences as Bitmap or Targa, and web-based as Flash, RM, or WMV, and then mobile compliant as MP4 and 3GP files. In this tutorial, we focus on describing how to export a flash video file, FLV, for the use for your blog or web page. So let's go ahead and get started. Select a model that you wish to use. Along with a project, and then click the Output tab. Select Web in the Output page. Then make sure you have the Flash file format in the Format settings selected. Now adjust the settings in the Output settings portion of the menu. If you select a certain duration of the timeline in the script page, and you only want to export this area, that's not a problem. Select the script mode, select timeline, and then highlight an area that you wish to export. Select the output tab, and then click export timeline clip. For exporting files the same size as your project, check on the original resolution ratio bullet. If you want to crop the image to export, check target and set the size for exporting. Use the drop down menu to select your desired resolution. YouTube, HD, DVD, VCD, and mobile resolutions are available. You may use a custom size by typing in values into the output size boxes. Set the frame rate to decide the number of frames per second playing back the file. Click the advanced button and you may adjust the video quality and the audio quality as well by adjusting the sliders in the dialog box. Then click OK. In the HTML section there are three boxes available. Produce HTML page is the first. It is highly recommended to check this box for exporting if you are not familiar to, with the method to embed .flv files into your web page. When you check this box, Crazy Talk will export an HTML file and a folder which a .flv, a .js, and a .swf file will also be exported into. You may then upload this web page and the folder to your website to share your flash output. You may optionally also check the Preview HTML Page checkbox. When you check this box, Crazy Talk will open the HTML file as soon as the export process finishes successfully. The exported flash video in the HTML page contains a play button and a stop button. If you want your character in the video to have a natural motion when the play button is not clicked, please check including standby motion. The character will look more vivid with the motion in idle mode. You may also access the face profile style in the model page to specify custom standby motion. Please see the link embedded in the Word document for this tutorial for more information about that issue. Now you're ready to select export. Select the export button and name your file from CT. For inserting your video into your web page, whether for personal use or company use, please follow this method. We assume that the target web page is named webpage.htm, and the exported file from Crazy Talk will be named from CT. Select Save. Then, once exported, copy from ct.htm and the folder name from ct underscore data into the location where the webpage.htm is. Open from ct.htm and webpage.htm with notepad, copy the marked code in the illustration from ct.htm to the corresponding section in the web page, anywhere between head and forward slash head. Copy the marked code in the illustration from ct.htm to the position where you want to insert the video in the web page.htm. This must be between body and forward slash body. The script and forward slash script is for Internet Explorer and for browsers that do not have JavaScript. The no script and forward slash no script is essential. By following this method, 
your web page should change from this to this. If you would like, open the Word document associated with this tutorial and view a couple of extra examples located at the bottom of the document. Which software is Face Puppet Animation Studio? Crazy Dog 4. Crazy Talk 5. These are both examples of web-based output created with Crazy Talk 5.0. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit www.reillusion.com or contact technical support.